meeting will be recorded tonight and we do have an announcement to make uh sunoco pipeline will not be with us they called us about an hour ago and said they will not come uh, we did technically have the meeting set up they were supposed to be here so there will be no discussion about the pipeline in this meeting tonight can we give you a reason why they didn't want to come no not really i mean they just failed on us and said they're not coming I, 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 we're looking for them to come and give some answers but we won't have our solicitor available tonight so he's not here to take any questions so we're going to have a discussion on the uh, pipeline tonight Right. Uh, current bills here. I have a bill for QuickBooks for the annual payroll subscription for six hundred and ten dollars. Uh, Brinley Bell Engineering. I have a bill for their inspections of the pipeline for five hundred and ninety-eight dollars and fifty cents. I have a bill for them for doing Jonathan Martin's chicken house for five hundred and five dollars. Hearing none, we'll make a motion to pass this month's bill for here a second. I'll show you. Oh, maybe say aye. Aye, aye. Uh, nay on that. What was the $500 bill for the pipeline that you were looking at? Was it this one here we're not supposed to be talking about tonight? It's engineering inspections of what they're doing to our roads when they're traveling on the roads. Oh, so they're destroying the roads and I'm paying for it? No, they're paying for it. That's what the engineer is doing is reviewing and keeping track of what they're doing. All right. I will open up the floor to anybody be heard other than besides talking about the pipeline. If there's anything else I want to say, uh, we're looking forward for that. I was just curious about, do you know how long the bridge is going to be closed on Old Mill? Uh, Last that we were told, and hopefully in another week, it's supposed to be open, but I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> and I will tell you this, it will have to be up before the school buses run. Whether or not I'm walking bridges, main bridges like that, so I know it will have to be open by the end of August, but I, it should be up before that. They told, I was told around the middle of July, but I see that everything's still there, so, yep. Can I ask a question which is directly before the competition regarding the pipeline? Ask your questions and we'll tell you if we can answer or not. Has the township received any briefing from Sonoco on safety and risk for the pipeline in any way or any reports? Have we received anything? They dropped off. Yes. We have literature here if you just want to take the literature from them, they didn't drop off. Uh, as far as a direct report now. Imagining those are probably what some of us got in the mail. They're general um, propaganda from the black and fire department. There is a safety report risk analysis that was uh, discussed in some other townships, although people were required to sign a non disclosure agreement so they couldn't discuss it in the public. This is test. Have any of you received any kind of formal reports about the risks? safety of the pipeline. No. Uh, I hate to differ with you, but I gave you a book that I received, mm -hmm. and it was for the first pipeline, and it said that if you live within a thousand feet of this pipeline, if you wake up, if you wake up in the middle of the night, and you smell gas, it's odorless, that you're to get up and not turn a light on, use a doorbell, a door knocker, a cell phone, or a car, you're supposed to get up and walk away from that pipeline. I have a wood stove that burns 24 hours a day and I'm in the danger zone. I want to know who's putting up some kind of system to protect me in the middle of the night for me, my family, my animals, and everybody else in this township that lives within a thousand feet of that pipeline is to be protected and represented by the local government. It is your responsibility to make sure that we are represented. This book tells you everything. It tells you, you know, what to do, what not to do, and everything. And by their regulations, everybody in a thousand foot of this pipeline is to get a book of that. And I've only found four people so far in Lower Frankfort Township that received the book. And you yourself haven't received the book. I gave it to you to copy it two meetings ago. So we have a problem whether you want to discuss it or not. Well, 
well, we're not going to discuss it oh, I, I until hear. the attorney is available. And, and at that point, or me, but until then, I can't give you no answers. Okay. What question coming? Which? Um, recognizing they decided to file out. Um, <coughs> so we're going to try to reschedule them. So we're going to try. been under pressure and everything they've had 30 leaks in the stream behind my house locust creek and wetland j31 has been contaminated by them we've had 30 instances so far in cumberland county and that's just cumberland county from this pipeline that leaks it's unsafe technology and they need to put an alarm system up so we people that live within a thousand feet of this pipeline are warned in the middle of the night winter time or whatever to get up and get the hell away from it that's a simple thing take that proposal to them. their regulations they're breaking them they're fined all the time by the federal government millions of dollars they just don't care well, I care I live within a thousand feet of the pipeline. my creek is now contaminated the wetlands now have hydraulic fluid in it mr. bloom has hydraulic fluid through his wetlands up in upper Franklin Township so we're having a polluting problem even before they pressurize the pipe. And they've upgraded the pressure on the old iron pipe from 800 pounds of pressure towards 1,400 and they backflow it. And the erosion on the inside of that old iron pipe, she's ready to go. We will take those concerns to them. Uh, I hope so. Like uh, James just said here, we're going to try to get them to come to the meeting. In other words, I try to turn the pressure on. 